today I'm gonna be about the secrets of wudu. What I'm gonna mention today, I'm gonna combine the science of wudu. I don't wanna go into narration how wudu is done. Is it the Sunni is the right way or Shia right way? I'm gonna reflect mostly about the secrets of wudu, and then at the very end, you conclude which way is right or which way is wrong. How are we gonna start by doing this? In uh, last week, we were talking about Surat Al Kahf, and we said Surat Al Kahf it has many implications and many secrets that every every story in that Surat Al Kahf will reflect a huge dimension that is hidden in science till this moment. Yani, Surat Al Kahf will be uh, an example of teaching us, teaching the new technology technology generation that there is a certain type of science that science now didn't even touched yet. One of these ones we reflected about is uh, uh, Nabil Khudr السلام, who became Al Abdul Salih later and yani he became a slave of Allah Azza wa Jal uh, to the point that he is higher than a prophet some, some prophets. That's why he was mentioned this way. And then one of the most significant uh, uh, last week I reflected I will say it again now the significance something in this story is when he said وَإِذْ قَالَ مُوسَى لِفَتَاهِ لَا أَبْرَى حَتَّى أَبْلُغَ مَجْمَعَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ أَوْ أَمْضِ حُقُبَ I'm going to translate it in English. He said, And when Musa said to his servant, I will not cease until I reach the junction of two rivers, and I will go on for years. And I, I, we said, we established last time, that the two rivers, مَجْمَعَ الْبَحْرَيْنِ, those two rivers, they can be a location. You, and you can have a GPS, go there, and then you can locate it in a GPS for or it can be two dimensional thing that it's one of them reflecting علم النبوة because represented by who Nabil Musa alayhi salam the Prophet Moses and then him علم الإمامة or servancy represented by Al Khudr alayhi salam and this is where they met both they met there between those two junction of river so we established now over there there's there's two dimension that is met there. But we're not gonna talk about those two dimensions because we already reflected on them. We're gonna talk about what, why is water like this? What is represented by water? Why water always have <coughs> this holiness? Because, for example, we reflected even in Surah Rahman, we're saying what? Between those two oceans, between those two oceans, there's barzakh, they don't go into each other. So now we are using again. Alm al nubuwa represented by Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Alm al-Imama represented by Ali ibn Abi Talib and between them there is a barzakh there is what? there is a barrier and this barrier who reflected it by Fatima al-Zahra alayhi wa sallam someone can say you are dreaming you can say you are dreaming you are using your imagination to say whatever you want to say about Ahl al-Bayt because you know you become Shia and then you have to uh, uh, create many things to make uh, convince people but let's reflect a little bit in science if we're gonna go to water just the, the symbol of water what is it h2o okay we have two h and in the middle o the first ocean is alm al the second ocean alm al imam and the, in the middle there's an o right why science didn't say why science didn't say let's say uh, o to H. Why he, he said H2 and then O? Is it the same thing? When we said O and 2H after it? Uh, why? It's the same thing, right? O and 2H. It, is it the same thing like H2O? Mm -hmm. And it is the same thing by gener general idea. But in reality, the science of chemistry say this is wrong. Because you have to first put the 2H with a small two at the, in, the, in, the, in the side instead of having big two why? because there are some ions that the O needed for it to become stable mm -hmm. if it wasn't stable then it will go away then H and 2O won't be water anymore it won't, it won't go into each other in 1942, I don't remember the exact time Einstein said if we understand what does it bond mean bond between chemistry, let's say we bring now, I bring one one bottle, I have H in it, hydrogen, and then O, just oxygen, and I put them together, won't be anything. Except if I make it boom, like fire, and then it will be water. But in reality, I don't really know what's going on. 
for the bond to be the bond to be formed. Because if I know what's bond bonding the material together, then I can <coughs> take something and make it gold. This is the secret of bonds. Same thing, water over here. This kind of secret, it's always gonna stay secret inside the matter. Some people they open the secret, but you have to go deep in the, in the matter. You become the matter because you are the matter anyway. But you have to control it. This is one of the secrets of H two O. Hala, what happening is in a, in other ayah, Allah Azza wa Jal saying, saying, "وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيٍّ." We were made from water, everything's alive. Okay, even now there is water. You know, the first thing, there's Majma'u al Bahrain, where Ilm al Nubu, Ilm al Imam is there. We have Wajalna min al Ma'i kulla shayin hai. Everything we created by water, we make it alive. It become alive. How we can prove, make a proof to that? A man, he can go with his wife, his sperm like water. Like he's saying in the Quran, water, ma rajul, he become a life. Yani, uh, yani, <laughs> there's a kid. After the same thing, a woman. When she said, I broke my water, then uh, 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 someone coming to life. So water is almost everywhere that there is life. The introduction to life? The introduction to life, yes. So in the, in the, in the, now we go into what exactly the water what is water in the molecular level? Hala, if we go to O and there is an H, there is one point, one forty-four degree between the first two vectors. Between You see, there are two vectors of H and then there is O in the middle. There is one forty-five degree. Mm -hmm. Hala, if we minus this from 360 degrees, another secret will come. Another secret will come because now we are moving from 2D to 3D. And then the this triangle what we call it in Alm al Arfan, Al Qaws al Saudi or Al Qaws al Nuzuli. Al Qaws al Saudi or Al Qaws al Nuzuli, this is where all the energy go from from Earth to Al Sama al Rabi'ah and fourth Sama and from Sama al Rabi'ah to down to Earth. And this is was used, this kind of technology was used by who? Who knows? By Nabi Sulaiman in his temple with with the uh, with his temple and with the pharaohs, mm -hmm. the pyramids. But the pyramids, they use four sides, not three sides. Uh, it's Alm al-Islam, he used three sides. Uh, the the Alm al-Devil, he used four sides to to collect all this energy from Al-Qaws al-Nuzul or Al-Qaws al saudi Anyway, why I'm talking about this now? When we do wudu, what's happening? Sorry, Hajj, Qaws means yeah. what? Qaws al-Saudi, the arrow that go up. You know, when you see the arrow symbol, like something up and something down. If those are connected together, they will create something in the middle. I remember when we talked about sacred geometry. Right. Sacred geometry is where Allah Azza wa Jal created everything from the Arbatashar Imam from the Tnash and then from the other two, Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Sayyidah Zahra. And it is we showed this before. Inshallah later we will make more uh, lecture about this. But now Let's focus more on water and how is it important and what is wudu from water. We're learning all this from Khudr alayhi salam. You know, we see the, this ayah, we always pass by it very fast. But if we go really deep, we see, look how, how many, what's opening. There's first Majma al Bahrain, H2O. It's exactly represented by the O in the middle. Sayyidah Zahra alayhi salam. Because I mentioned before, anything with Ha and or at the beginning, it is where Fatima al Zahra came from. And I mentioned this Fatima Zahra, I will mention it. Uh, last time I mentioned, I want to talk about it. When some, when a guy, when you listen to the lecture, when a guy give a, a, that someone he love a, a flower, right? When you give someone you love a flower, it is represented by what? If we're going to talk about it from the philosophical point of view. When you were young, the first thing when a teacher gave you a paper and pen, she told you to draw. The first thing you draw is a sun, and a house, and a flower. So if we say, who did teach the, uh, this kid to draw these things? Is it just by net instinct, or he was imagining things? In reality, this is the instinct. When you were young, your instinct is presented by this paper. This, is, this paper is your word, what you're thinking about psychologically. This is your word. 
But in reality, if you think about it more deeper, when you grow up, when you give this flower to someone you love, this is mean you're entering this someone into your life, your private life, the life of purity. The life of purity. But this instinct, Allah Azza wa Jal, He put it inside you for what? For the future to be searched on it. You search on for this in the future. The sun will represent the guidance that you are now in life for you to find the guidance. Who you want to follow? You want to follow Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or someone else? The house, who you want to follow? Who is your household? The household of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or someone else? And who is the Zahra? It's the Zahra Alayhi Wasallam. That what's my proof? In, in Rihlat al-Isra' wal maraj in Isra' wal maraj when, when Prophet Muhammad was ascended to, to Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal, He showed them everything, but He didn't give them anything. He showed them everything. What's going to happen in the future? Uh, you can read the story 15 hours, but no, He didn't take anything physically except one thing. Jibreel Alayhi Salam came, Gabriel, and He gave him an apple. He told him, this is a, a, a present from Allah Azza wa Jal. And when you receive an, a, a present from Allah, you want to keep it. He said, Jibreel, no, you don't have, you cannot keep it. You have to eat it. He said, how can I eat it? This is a, a present from Allah. He said, no, eat it. When you open it, there's a light came from it, went inside it, and then later, when he went in, you know, down, he got the Zahra. So the, even the present from Allah, to Prophet Muhammad was a flower, which is a Zahra. So even it is made by people. So the heart over here is the Zahra Alayhi from this story. Uh, someone who's gonna believe it, he's not gonna believe it, he's not gonna believe it. But I proved it from this narration. And in, uh, in, uh, in Islam, one of the main things you become Muslim is Amanu Bil Ghayb. You have to believe in the unseen. If you don't believe in the unseen, then you're no more a Muslim. No more I'm Muslim. And all what I'm saying is proven by science or proven by a hadith. Anyway, we'll go back. So, if we're gonna do wudu, when we do wudu, this is when think something becomes hay. وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَي. Right? So if you wanna use wudu, why Allah Azza wa Jal didn't tell you to use dust to make your wudu? Even though you can use dust to make your wudu, except when you're nijis. But let's say why he didn't always make it like this. When you make nijis, who who can who can really say why? Because your body is made of water. Yeah. No, you need the water to bring something alive back. Okay. Allah, there is for us to for, to reflect more into it to go deeper. Okay. There is what there is there is this universe, our universe, and for us to be in a right equilibrium, we said there is a different universe. What we call the antimatter, right? There's something called antimatter. Antimatter is that's the word that makes you balance here. If there's no antimatter, all your particles, like let's say I'm saying, hey, what's up? How are you? And then I, I hit him here, and I'm, then I'll see all this particle going everywhere. All his, his hand particles. So there is something keeping him in balance, keeping all this world straight together. So in the antimatter world, Whatever who we are now, exactly the same thing, but the color will be reversed. You see the negative when you go. We used to buy you know, the old generation. They, they used to use the old camera. They have a negative. They go take it and they make the real picture. So when you look at the negative, I used to look at them and then there is no color. It seems where is the color? But when they put it inside the machine, it will the color will become same thing like what we take the picture. It is exactly the same thing. The antimatter is us, but in black and white. But over there, there is no intelligence, no aql. Now, we have the only aql here. Okay, so over there, it's just like a mirror. Okay, so anything there is reversed. What is the only thing is not reversed there? Water. Because water doesn't have color. If Allah Azza wa Jal created water with color, then it won't be protecting you anymore. But protecting you from what? In Shaitan and Jinn always go through our hands, through our hands here, go inside us. You remember something very important. What you see now in this in this world is not true. Over here, what we call it, Alam Suwar, Alam, the universe of pictures. 
our our nafs is much bigger than what we are what we appear our ruh is much bigger much 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 bigger and it doesn't exist inside your body we don't have we don't carry the ruh with us and i keep mentioning this because it's very important in the quran allah azza wa jal never mentioned that ya ayatuha ruh al mutmainna he always say ya ayatuha nafs al mutmainna so ruh ruh is not inside the body ruh is in, in different dimension is in alam al dhar and then a nafs the second dimension of a ruh is just, it's over here it's connected to the ruh we are our main energy comes from the ruh okay we have only nafs self you egotism ego whatever you want to call it. your ego is you nafs so your nafs it is inside the body now the shaitan go always go back and forth back and forth and the shaitan is made from fire what's always make the fire go down water <laughs> you see the connection so allah azza wa jal when he wants you to go do wudu when you do wudu masah غير when you go to too much water all your the hand and then you take a shower and then, and then you put your leg and then you put the second leg because it's not important the quantity of water that you have on you he just want you to swipe it like this do it like this why because now when you're doing this only all the water is just covering what need to be covered because if you have you a big quantity of water it's not important that you don't need it you don't need to mix all this water together now what we're doing is we have to have we have to equal all the the, the energy in in your hand in your face and in your legs you cannot just put water f- directly from the sink that same as for example when i do the start the wudu how many times i use the water three times except for the mustahaba three times i wash my head and then my hand my hand and from my hand i do my leg my feet why because if i use the water directly from the sink to my feet then the the, the my hand are not responsible to protect my feet Allah Azza wa Jal, when, when He created us, He created us in a form of symbols. I'm gonna go a little deep into that, inshallah in the future I'll explain this is more. In a form of symbol. You go to prayers, okay? When you go to prayers, you stand like what? Like this. When you say Allahu Akbar, stand like what? That like the Aleph. The first thing Allah Azza wa Jal created is the Aleph inside Allah. You are like Aleph. Okay, when you do like this, go down, bow. You say Subhana Rabbi al Azim wa bihamdi. There's a symbol here. If someone read the Quran, there's a symbol. The, the two legs, they're still in in, in the Aleph form. This is mean in Alam al Zar. And now you are in Alam al Dunya. You go down in Alam al Dunya. You are here like a Dhul. Like this, go down in Alam al Dunya. Why? Because you're going back to Alam al Zar. So you're visiting here and then you're going back. To Alif again, and you're gonna go back. But now, what's my proof? In the Quran, he said, when someone die, al tafat al-saq. This is mean. This this leg is over this leg. Al tafat al-saq. When someone die, what does it mean? It doesn't have any meaning if you read it like this. But in reality, al tafat al-saq. This is mean your alam al-dunya is with alam al-akhirah. Dunya with akhirah because. When we go down, we do sujood, we have three, three dimensions. Two, your two legs are in, in two small legs are what? In, they're still in alam al This part of your body in alam al dunya because now you died in alam al dunya. You are in the floor. Now we're doing sujood. And your head in alam al akhir. What, what's my proof of that? He said, يَوْمَ يَأْتِ اللَّهُ بِنَا وَصِيهَا هَيْدِ النَّاصِيَةِ this is the Nasi, Allah Azza wa Jal. He's talking about in, a, in Alam al-Akhirah, yeah. In Alam al-Akhirah, the, the, after, after this war, he said, يَوْمَ يَأْتِ بِالنَّوَاصِي Nawasi, yani, some people, they didn't bow to Allah Azza wa Jal. They didn't do sujood in Alam al-Dunya. So he will take people from here. With, for Allah. Yeah, for Allah. But when someone bow to Allah Azza wa Jal in Alam al-Dunya, he won't يَأْتِ بِهَا anymore because it was doing the sujood for Allah Azza wa Jal in Alam al-Dunya. So the best thing in alam al dunya to be closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, the best act for you to be closer to Allah Azza wa Jal is what? Sujood. When you do sujood, you are representing your universe, your creation by from over here 
ارتفعت الساق الساق عالم عالم الدنيا over here and over here عالم الاخر that's why العقل over here العقل the brain is in top is not different to the different area because it's the most part that Allah عز وجل want this is the saving part this is what save you here that's why he put it in your head he didn't put it it's different why we didn't heart here they have the heart here and the brain over here it's not important because Allah عز وجل always use the the language of symbol talking to the to the people so we go back to our subject wudu over here is very important why because he is blocking all the areas that the shaitan go in go in from it why we wear then all this uh, aqeeq khatims or all these rings we wear those rings as a symbol of what of protection you you we are for, we are forces we are made of atoms and atoms are sign uh, they do vibrate they have vibrate so when let's say when we wear a, a, a ring this is mean you are entering this vibration inside your body and since aqeeq and different uh, like uh, diamonds and those things they always when lights go come from upstairs it will be divided and go inside your body so your body take the best vibration that needed for you to live better that's why we wear over here and that's why we put them in our fingers that's why when a man and woman get married he give her a ring why because now he's saying my energy is inside your your body this is representing this kind of symbol you know what I mean? that's that's why the most and why women always take the most pure thing is the 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 diamond the diamond is the most pure why because it divide all the light all the light to go inside her body and the main light is the light of the husband okay Hello, we, we always face this thing I'm gonna just gonna go with this subject and then go back to main subject some of the ulama now we have they always claim that science is not really represented by religion or religion is not represented by science how they give always this example I'm gonna say it now so we can argue with some of those ulama they say when a, a woman now these days why a woman when she get divorced from her husband she need to wait three months to do her adda what we call it and then they, they say we, you can bring just a machine and then you can, she can check if she's pregnant or not if she's not pregnant she can go marry someone else but now no Allah Azza wa Jalla said she, she he said she have to stay three months so science is not connecting with religion no but in reality what's happening recently science discovered that if a man was a with he was with a woman even if she's not pregnant his energy will stay in her blood for three months and she needs to clean her stream from his energy for three months so when a man give a woman a ring his energy is inside his ring and this ring is give is taking all this energy from this man mainly subhanallah even energy can be stored in something that you really believe that it is for your wife when you let's say buy this ring and you want to give it to your wife you your energy is stored in this in, in this stone same thing water over here water the main energy is stored from Sayyidah Zahra السلام, and from Sayyidah Zahra السلام, everything came alive وَجَعَلْنَا مِنَ الْمَاءِ كُلَّ شَيْءٍ حَيْءٍ This is the water. We need two, two, uh, two values and then the, the value of O that got the two H together and then water became alive. So water, with water you became alive, with water you survive and with water Allah Azza wa protect you and one of the main symbols Allah Azza wa Jal give you when you, when you are in trouble, we mentioned before too, Sayyida uh, Hajar Hajar, yeah, Sayyidah Hajar she was going between those two, mar- two, two mountains Al Marwa and Safa Safa and Marwa between those two mountains she was going back and forth back and forth and then suddenly there's water we can reflect in, we can reflect what's ha- what happened to Saf- with uh, Hajar السلام, with our daily life how many times we face problems now we face many problems so Allah Azza wa Jal He wanna test you but your test gonna be between Al Khawf Raja fear and hope you want to go between fear, fearing Allah Azza wa Jalla and then hoping that He's going to solve it for you. And then you fear it back and then you hope. Fear and hope and then water is going to come. Water is what? Is the solution, the salvation. Yes, salvation. The salvation of all your problems. Even 
your problem have water and we need to reflect even even now in regular life we have water regular water and yani when you go there to hajj and you drink from from zamzam it is the solution of ibrahim السلام, the son of ibrahim السلام, but you have your own water too and this is reflected by water and all this came from Majma' al-Bahrain where everything go together from from Musa alayhi salam to Al-Khidr and to from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Imam Ali and from H2O that you drink every day in, in home and when you go do wudu between H2O you see we have the bond over here and the O over here you see everything is connected together and some symbolized by that and then we go to and and water reflected by what again? The same story is the fountain of youth. Al Khadr alayhi salam still alive till this moment of the fountain of youth. And one of the Arfanin he talked Arfanin the people who who is spiritually high, he talked with Al Khadr alayhi salam, and Al Khadr alayhi salam he asked him what is the fountain of youth? And Al Khadr alayhi salam he started crying. He said, Wallahi Al Khadr, Wallahi, هذا النهر هو الإمام علي عليه السلام. Imam Ali because he is Al Ain. Al Ain means when you go to Daya, when you go to any place, any place water that comes from from inside the cave or inside different place, they call it Al Ain. Source. So, source of water. But in the Quran, Al Ain many times was mentioned as different type of Ain. Some of them refer to knowledge. Ayn of knowledge, some of them refer to water. So, knowledge and water come from the same Ayn. And, uh, and, Bima and, uh, uh, Imam, Afwan, Ali Ayn, at the very, at the beginning, yes. And then, Imam, in the Rasulullah, Sallallahu Alaihi Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Sallallahu Alaihi Ala Muhammad, Wa Ali Muhammad. He said, Ana Madina Tul Alim, Wa Ali Umbabu. I am the city of knowledge, and Ali is the gate. Even by his name, he's the gate. So any ayn, any knowledge is this ayn. But if we're gonna talk about fountain of youth, in reality, there is command two two water that go together. They go inside and then bring someone to life. Same thing from this this side. And then uh, I uh, we there's a guy. I'm gonna mention his story. I mentioned it before. Uh, his name Masaru. He's in in Japan. And then there's a beautiful story about him. He's he was he went he wanna go to the restroom. He used to work in a microscope, like big microscope to take picture of water. And then he went to the restroom, just he had something to do, and then his water, his wife passed by. <coughs> she didn't found him sitting in the office. So with her lipstick she wrote I love you in the water in Japanese. So when he came back he was happy that she passed by and she wrote him that anyway. He continued his work. So he took a drop of water, put it back in the microscope. By this time, he was surprised. Something happened different. What happened? The form of water was different. Usually the form of water under microscope will be always the same thing. But at this time, it took a beautiful shape. And he was really surprised. What happening? What's happening with this water? He already tested it before and it was normal. So he continued doing that from the same water. And then the, this shape came back again. Same thing. Later on, he discovered that if 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 you write a bad word in this cup, something very ugly will come as a shape. And if you write every word, it has a different shape. So words are stored inside the water. That's why I told you, anything anything energy from your energy is stored inside the stones. You do you use inside your house, inside the wall, inside the water you drink. And imagine we are. 70% made of water or 75% made of water and your brain here is like the stone controlling all this energy so for you to protect yourself from shayateen, from jinn, from whoever you always need to be in wudu I said that before you need every time do wudu before you eat do wudu not just before you pray before you eat do wudu before you drink do wudu before you sleep do wudu there's a narration from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi He said, when someone he wanna transfer his bed like a mask, do wudu and sleep. When you do wudu and sleep, your your bed will be like a mask. You are sleeping inside a mask yes. till you wake up. 
Look how beautiful is that. When you do wudu and then you, you eat, the jinn won't eat with you anymore. Because you are now protected. You, you do tasmi. Tasmi is the small wudu, but the bigger one is is, is wudu al akbar. Even al ghusl is very important in, your, in the day of Jum'ah. The ghusl, when you do ghusl, is very important because you're using water in all your body and you don't have to do wudu anymore. That's very important. Okay, any questions? Any questions? Yes. Uh, so when you do wudu, shaitan can enter and you do water? No, he still enter, but now he's weak with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he always the shaitan have access inside, but you know, like someone with you always, either he even he have to go inside your heart or he have to whisper next to your ear. Even let's say now you have uh, you made a good relationship of one of the angels, and he's protecting you. He can push, let's say, the shaitan over here to the door. But he can still scream, you can still hear him. Because why? Because we are built this way. So whatever you do, or you're always going to hear his voice, but it's going to be weaker. So this is how you protect yourself. Yeah. So Hajj, I just have a quick question. Is this why we can't like go back and forth when we do wudu? Uh, this is the shri'a. And so, yani, maraja, maraja will do that. Science? No, if, for me, from my side, the science, if you go back or forth, it uh, won't do anything. But in reality, when you do it like this down, you are closing all the gates. That's what I'm saying. That's why you can't go back up. Like uh, well, in science, I, in science, I don't see why. Why not? But in, in religion, they say you don't, you cannot do that. I'm yeah. going one way like this away from you. You're pushing all the bad energy away from you. Yeah, but when you if you if you wanna go with this argument, usually this is like the classical argument. When you do it like this, it will be covered back by the same clothes you were wearing. Immediately, ions will go back to your body. It's in reality Allah Azza wa is not just protecting you with your ions because there's something better protection inshallah next week we'll reflect if you want on this subject is the sujood and turba sujood and turba is the best tool that you can do to ground your body so all elect- bad electrons will go away but all bad electrons will, will stay inside your body when you do wudu because you're not covering uh, yani when you go inside the shower you shower your body all the bad electron will go away except if you do sujood and turba turba mean like the soil. the soil that we, we 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 do sujood on when you do that it's like what you call grounding your body that's why mainly allah azza wa jalla ordered us to ground our body when we when we do sujood same idea of grounding with electricity yes same thing we, this is different something you neutralize you neutralizing your body yeah yeah, it's connecting wudu and sujood. Subhanallah. See, they continue each other. Let's say you did wudu and you didn't do sujood. This this electromagnetic field it's still inside your body going. But when you do wudu and sujood, you cle- you covered your your uh, your antimatter body, and then you did the sujood. Now you grounded yourself and nothing is entering anymore. How long do you have to ground yourself? Well, if you do it. Uh, whether noon is the Zahaba Mughadiman for 400 times, your your spirit will, will go up. We talked about that once with your red blood cells and cancer. Yes, and yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Any more questions? Okay. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala.